Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Um, it's a glorious morning here, so I'm getting ready to get all of our labs out of their pen. I wanted to share with you, we bought these Garmin trekking collars for our dogs. Um, they're really nice. I put these on them, and we have a boundary set up on, you have to buy this little um, remote control kind of device, but we were able to set our property line up on it and then we have alerts set so that if the dogs get close to our property line or if they go outside of it, um, it will alert us and let us know and then we can call them back. So I just have it set up. Um, it's set up for caller so I know which dog it is that's near the boundary line and then I can just push a button and the one so far that I found that works best is a tone. It just sets off a tone and the dog knows to come back and so Typically, I holler for them at the same time I'm setting it off so they know why it's going off, that they are somewhere they shouldn't be and they need to come back. So it's really nice and helpful if you have multiple dogs that you're trying to track um, and maybe you have neighbors. We have neighbors that we don't want them going on to the neighbor's property and so we find it really helpful for that. So I just thought I would share these with you and show you. Um, I'm just going to be putting them on each of our labs. I think Bella's about ready to stay with the chickens. She's doing great. She's been staying in here the entire time and she hasn't bothered them at all. But we don't want her going to the bathroom in our garden. So that wouldn't be healthy for our garden at all. So we're gonna continue to pin her up right outside the chickens. But unfortunately she shocked herself on our electric fence earlier. So she's just been hiding out this entire time. Bella, are you hiding? Yes. Did you get shocked by the fence? Huh? Oh, poor Bella. Yeah, you didn't like that fence, did you? Hiding out in the coop. <laughs> this would be a nice warm place for her to stay with the chickens. If she wasn't in the garden. <laughs> I'm sure as soon as we move the chickens out of the garden, we'll just start pinning her up with them. Looks like she's ready. I think we have a couple that might be laying eggs. Girls. What are you doing? Hi. No eggs in there. Oh. <laughs> Hi. We call this chicken Max. Zandria named it. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come, come on, on, Bella. It's okay. Come out. Come on. Just don't touch the fence again. Come on. greens for the chickens. They're just loving it. Oh, there she comes. There you are. There you are. Bella, hi. Are you ready to guard your chickens? Hi, everyone. Oh. I apologize for all the wind in this video. It's a super windy day once again. Here's Bella's new temporary pen by the chickens on their new garden. Are you hiding out? Did you get shocked by the fence too? Hmm. Yeah. Aurora here managed to get shocked by the fence too. She was trying to eat chickens though, so she kind of needed shocked so she'll know to leave them alone. Yeah, now you're just fine now. Yes. Say hi. 
I wanted to point out that we do have a collar for Bella also, but um, she's not actually trained well enough to use her collar. Your dog really has to be trained well to listen to you um, for the collars to work, and she's just still working on that. Uh, Great Pyrenees. I've read are very stubborn dogs and she is definitely a stubborn dog. She will listen when she wants to, but other times she just has her mindset and she does what she wants to do. So um, we unfortunately can't let her out to run around with her Garmin collar on yet, but hopefully one day we will be able to. In the meantime, we just take her on walks with her, just with a leash on her. Um, and she gets to run around with the other dogs. She gets in the pen with the other dogs sometimes Sorry, Aurora is right here wanting <laughs> attention. But um, so Bella does get to get out. She just doesn't get to run freely yet. Um, but hopefully we will get there one day, maybe when she gets a little older and mature and then she'll start listening better. At least that's the way it's worked for our labs. It seems they have to kind of get out of that puppy stage before they'll really start to listen. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and we hope to see you next time. Bye.